conquering Japanese tank and Germany's possibly second most famous ship with a new mechanic. But first, let's talk about distributed denial of service attacks. Welcome to War Thunder's website. I am Old Dead Man, your host. We're going to get started off with the distributed denial of service attack that Gaijin is reporting, reporting are currently underway. For those that already know what that means, good luck logging into War Thunder. For those that don't, allow me to give a brief summary, then good luck logging into War Thunder. There's two primary methods of triggering a denial of service attack. The first is to make a bunch of requests to the server from machines all over the world, then refuse to do the full handshake. This causes the server to hold open these connections, waiting for the next step until the server runs out of hands to offer for shakes, thus preventing anyone from logging in. The second is to overwhelm the server with huge amounts of data from machines all over the world, thus flooding their internet connection until it can no longer sustain the huge amount of data and effectively collapses on itself. This is obviously a gross oversimplification, but at least now you'll know why you can't get your War Thunder on when some stupid script kitty decides that the guy in the M18 shouldn't be able to kill him three times in a row, despite his huge amounts of mega armor. But let's move on to the next interesting item. That would be the Type 10. Take the Type 90, already an effective tank, put it on a diet, toss it on some performance-enhancing drugs, Put it on an exercise regimen and stick it in a combat zone and you have the Type 10. The Type 10 is a currently serving main battle tank with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. Designed to update its tank force to better prepare for 21st century warfare, the Type 10 allowed the addition of new features such as a command, control, communication, and computing system. The Type 74 and Type 90 tanks just didn't have the room for it, so they started the Type 10 design. This is an evolution, not a revolution, in the existing design. Despite being lighter than the Type 90, the armor was strengthened and it provided, provides good protection versus 120mm projectiles in the frontal arc. One additional benefit of the design, the Type 10 is able to cross roads and bridges in other parts of Japan and thus can be deployed throughout Japan, unlike the Type 90. The Type 10 was accepted in December 2009 and entered service in January 2012. 76 are currently in service. The Type 10 is 9.5 meters long, 3.2 meters wide, 2.3 meters tall, and weighs in at a relatively svelte 44 ton standard loadout. The 22.6 liter four stroke V8 diesel engine produces 1200 horsepower that drives the tank to a maximum speed forward and backwards of 70 kilometers per hour. It is armed with a Japanese produced 120 millimeter 44 caliber smooth bore cannon with auto loader, a 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun, and a 7.62 millimeter light machine gun. The tank is also equipped with hydro pneumatic suspension, modular composite armor, and enough electronics to make a computer tech jealous. The Type 10 carries a three man crew. In War Thunder, the Type 10 will be joining the Japanese Rank 7 tank tree, complete with a new APFS DS round, also named the Type 10. Now, going from things driving on land, let's go to things floating on water, because we have the Sharn Horse Battle Cruiser. And let's talk about that. The Scharnhorst was a German battleship or battle cruiser of the World War II era Kriegsmarine. Designed under the restrictions enacted post-World War I, it was armed with 280 millimeter main guns, but with the plan to later upgrade it with six 15-inch guns that never actually took place. She was laid down in July 1935, launched in October 1936, and commissioned in January 1939. Her first operation resulted in the sinking of the British armed merchant cruiser Rawal Pindi. Various other operations mostly resulted in Scharnhorst returning to dock for repairs. In June 1940, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau sank the British aircraft carrier HMS Glorious and two escorting destroyers. One of the destroyers managed to get a torpedo off which struck Scharnhorst, damaging the machinery destroying the starboard propeller shaft and resulting in the death of 48 men on board. In 1941, she and Gneisenau broke out into the Atlantic on convoy raiding duties, sinking 11 cargo or tanker ships. While at anchor in La Police in July 1941, she was attacked by British Halifax heavy bombers, resulting in five direct hits, two men killed, and another round of repairs. January 1942 brought more action, but mainly hitting a magnetic mine that resulted in a great deal of damage. Repeated attacks by British units followed, then another mine was struck, but the ship managed to make port in Wilhelmshaven. She struck a U-boat in August for more repairs, then conducted training. 
In March 1943, an explosion in the machinery space resulted in the death of 34 men. She was then repaired, but fuel shortages prevented further operations. The Scharnhorst was sunk during the Battle of the North Cape in December 1943, having suffered multiple direct torpedo hits and a brutal shelling from British naval units. The wreck was discovered and identified in September 2000 by Norwegian remotely operated vehicles. The Scharnhorst was 235 meters long, 30 meters wide, 10 meter draft, and weighed in at 32,100 long ton standard load. Her three steam turbines produced 159,551 shaft horsepower that drove the ship to a 31 knot top speed. She was armed with nine 280 millimeter cannons and triple mounts, 12 150 millimeter cannons, 14 105 millimeter cannons, 16 37 millimeter cannons, and either 10 or 16 20 millimeter cannons. She also carried six 533 millimeter torpedo tubes. The Sharn Horse sported 350 millimeters of belt armor, 50 to 105 millimeters deck armor, and 200 to 360 millimeters of turret armor. Even the conning tower had 350 millimeter thick armor. She could carry up to three Arado AR-196A scouting aircraft. In War Thunder, the Scharnhorst will be joining the German Rank 5 Blue Water Fleet. And that's everything that's been announced today so far. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about these additions. And don't forget, they are, have actually already uh, introduced the fact that they're going to be able to launch aircraft off of the... Uh, uh, catapult on these cruisers and battleships that have them. So that's a good new mechanic that'll be coming your way. Let me know again what you think. You have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in War Thunder. The Sharn Horse was shunk, shunk, shunk. <laughs>